Hello everyone, and welcome back to Tiny the Puck Tech. I'm Nick, and in today's video we are going to take a look at this 2008 MacBook Pro and see how well it's holding up in 2021. Let's get into it, shall we? The early 2008 MacBook Pro was originally introduced in February of 2008, and it had either a 15.4 inch display or a 17 inch display with a resolution of 1440 x 900. It can be purchased with up to 4 gigabytes of DDR2 RAM at 667 megahertz, and a Core 2 Duo. Uh, from Intel clocked in at either 2.4 GHz or 2.5 GHz. And it also used the NVIDIA GeForce 8600M GT graphics chip, which apparently was kind of notorious for falling off the logic board from some posts that I found while researching this video, but fortunately this hasn't happened to me. Yet. <laughs> As for the one that I have here today, it's a 15.4 inch model with the 2.4 GHz Core 2 Duo and 6 GB of DDR2, which was clearly an upgrade made by the previous owner at some point. Um, this one also has a 200 GB 5400 RPM hard drive, but I will definitely uh, be upgrading that to an SSD whenever I get around to it, uh, and I would definitely recommend anyone do that uh, if you're getting an older computer like this, just because it's faster and it's more reliable. Unfortunately, this laptop no longer has a working battery, and I'm not entirely sure where I'll be able to find a replacement, but as long as you can figure out a way to keep the power cable from falling out while you're using it, it's not too bad. As for the I.O., we have two USB ports, uh, unfortunately there's only two, but oh well. Uh, we have one Firewire port, we have one Firewire 800 port, an Ethernet jack, a DVI-I port, a headphone and microphone jack, and some type of flashcard reader. And of course, we can't forget about the MagSafe connector. The real MagSafe, not the stupid iPhone MagSafe. There is also an optical drive on here, along with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Uh, unfortunately, with um, newer versions of macOS on older hardware though, uh, the Wi-Fi is a little unreliable and you'll probably spend more time restarting your Wi-Fi uh, than actually browsing the internet. Thanks, Apple. So, how good is it to use in 2021? Well, it is capable of running Mac OS X 10.10.4, and this is still usable for some basic web browsing and office tasks. I was even able to edit and render a short video here uh, using Shotcut, which was actually pretty impressive. However, as I've stated in probably every video I've made on old computer hardware like this, uh, using a Linux distro is generally always the best option. And if you want to do some video editing on a laptop like this, I would strongly recommend cleaning out the CPU cooler and reapplying thermal paste uh, for better thermal performance and reliability. Overall, this laptop is still able to deliver some very decent performance for all your basic day-to-day -day tasks, um, which is nice considering how dire the computer market currently is right now. And in my opinion, this laptop is probably one of the best laptops Apple has ever made. Even in 2021, it still feels very premium and distinctly Apple. From the all-aluminum construction, to the really nice display, to the keyboard, it's just very nice to use, and it just feels very nice. And of course, we cannot forget about the sexiest keyboard backlighting that I've ever seen. Um. Yeah, honestly, I've just never seen keyboard backlighting to this day that looks as good as this. <laughs> um, yeah. Even though Apple consistently gets quite an alarming number of things horribly wrong, when it comes to their displays and overall build quality, it's pretty difficult to find stuff much better. <laughs> um, but with that, should you consider buying one of these for basic daily tasks? Yes, absolutely. 
Well, macOS 10.10.4 isn't going to be supported for much longer. In fact, I don't even know if it's technically still supported because that's just how Apple is. Um, installing a Linux distro on here like Linux Mint is really easy and I'll be actually covering how to install Linux Mint on this exact laptop in a future video. So if you're curious, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss that. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, it's been a little frustrating getting motivated to make tech videos lately, just considering how utterly horrible the computer market is. It's just kind of depressing. Um, but yeah, I just, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful, and make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you in the next one.